Under the tall grass prairie in the U.S. state of Kansas lay the shipwreck of treasure, lost for 132 years in the shifting course of the Missouri River. The tale of the steamboat is a surprising one, of transatlantic trade and commerce that underscores the very essence of European and American friendship. In 1856, the steamboat Arabia, a small riverboat, set out to deliver goods to the western frontier. But the boat unexpectedly hit a crack in the river and it sank immediately. All passengers survived, but the goods it carried remained lost and submerged in the Midwestern mud. In 1988, a team found the site of the shipwreck and with it discovered the story of a young country and its engagement in international trade. Highlighting the demand for European finery among settlers out west, the contents of the sunken steamboat Arabia included fine British ceramics and French perfume. The ship also carried over 3 million beads, hand-blown in Italy and Germany, which were used for trading with indigenous nations. The ship had also been smuggling Belgian guns, destined for abolitionists in Kansas fighting against slavery. Since its founding, the United States has relied on Europe for the supply of commercial goods. Europe has connected the US and facilitated the transfer of spices, silks and ideas from far reaches of the world. Today. Transatlantic trade totals roughly $1.3 trillion per year, making the transatlantic trade block the world's largest. Together, the EU and US economies account for roughly half of global GDP and a third of worldwide trade. Frontier settlers demanded goods like metal nails and pocket knives. Today, American demands from Europe are pretty different. Medicine and machines are staples of the transatlantic trade relationship, and goods like food also play an important role. The U.S. is the number one destination for European food and beverages, including specialty products like cheese and wine. Mm. In one year alone, Americans imported nearly 24 million bottles of champagne from France. The EU is the third largest destination for U.S. agricultural products, like soybeans, nuts, and processed food. Transatlantic trade underpins 15 million jobs. Americans work in European-owned retail shops like Spanish Zara, Danish company Vestas is the world's largest producer of wind turbines, and its largest factory is in Colorado. BMW's largest assembly plant in the world is located in South Carolina. The glue that ties the EU-US together is the shared legacy of trust. This trust means that the US can rely on Europe for sensitive security inputs, like specialized aluminum and steel that are used in American military aircraft. Trade has historically consisted of goods, but technology has increased the trade of services, Firms in Boston can hire graphic designers in Bratislava, and American cybersecurity firms can help protect European startups. The tech revolution has also created a new type of trade, digital. Two years after the steamboat Arabia sank in 1856, the transatlantic telegraph cable went live, reducing communication time between Europe and the US from 10 days to mere minutes by a Morse code. Europeans and Americans immediately took advantage of this cutting edge technology using it to buy and sell goods across the Atlantic. Today, 99% of international data traffic travels through fiber optic cables under oceans, including the ones deep in the Atlantic, connecting Virginia Beach to Bilbao, Spain. Surviving attacks from sharks, fish and spies alike, the cables facilitate data flows that keep the global economy churning. European electrical grid companies serve as American infrastructure, keeping lights on in American hospitals. Mil, which produces IoT goods like smart refrigerators and dishwashers, depends on the free flow of cross-border data to fix bugs and install updates remotely. A couple building a tiny home in the US can download the blueprints from an architect in Estonia. Through international digital trade, friends in Lithuania can have virtual happy hours with friends in Louisville over video chats. From covered wagons to autonomous vehicles, the EU-US trade relationship has forged an everlasting friendship. Whether importing Haribo candies into the US from Germany, drinking a glass of Italian wine, or streaming a Hollywood film in Europe, the EU-US bond is as cultural as it is economic.